One of the biggest earthquakes ever recorded has hit Japan, measuring 8.9. It triggered a tsunami that coursed several miles inland, washing away everything in its path. Thousands are feared dead as homes, boats, entire trains were swept away by a wall of water up to 10 meters high. A massive whirlpool raged just by the epicenter, 80 miles off the coast and the city of Sendai. Several fires have broken out, including one at an oil refinery. A nuclear emergency has been declared as reactors have automatically shut down. There have been more than 50 aftershocks. The quake was 8,000 times more powerful than the recent one in New Zealand. The shockwave was felt strongly even in Tokyo, some 250 miles away. There are thousands of people, millions of people, on the streets of Tokyo tonight. All trains have been suspended. The official advice, if you're safe, is to stay where you are. We'll be live in Japan with the latest on the earthquake and its aftermath. Also tonight, rebels in eastern Libya targeted by pro-government forces as the EU calls for Gaddafi to go. And the moment detectives in Britain's biggest manhunt caught up with Raoul Moat's two accomplices in Northumberland. Both men now face lengthy jail terms for helping Moat, who shot three people, killing one and blinding a police officer. These two individuals have been convicted and have continued to lie throughout. So they will now both go to prison as convicted criminals and both liars. Good evening, welcome to the BBC News at six. A huge earthquake has hit Japan, the biggest in its history, triggering a tsunami which has swept several miles inland, washing everything away in its path, causing massive devastation and loss of life. With a magnitude of 8.9, it's the sixth largest quake ever recorded.